In the shadows of society, there are corrupt individuals, masters of deceit, whose actual character is frequently concealed until it is too late to do anything about it. It is not enough to say that these individuals are malicious, they are also extremely proficient in the art of manipulation. They construct a web of deceit around their victims, who are unaware of what they are getting themselves into, and they exploit both their flaws and their talents to give themselves an advantage. They leave a wake of uncertainty and harm in their wake because their manipulation is so subtle, so embedded in their charm and deceit, and because they leave a trail of confusion behind them. People have a tendency to underestimate the depths of such nefarious personalities, ignoring their instincts that something is wrong and failing to recognize the subtle warning flags that are present. In spite of this, Sigma males are strong foes to these corrupt powers, as they are involved in this complicated play of deceit and control. They have a sharp eye for discrepancies in the emotional narrative that these people are spinning and are not hesitant to confront dishonesty. The genuine objectives of individuals who thrive on corruption can be revealed when Sigma males use a combination of intuition and rationality to unravel the threads of manipulation. I'm going to talk about seven different methods that Sigma males are able to destroy corrupt people in this video. First and foremost, exposure. Sigma males employ a crucial strategy in the fight against corruption, and that strategy is exposing. A deliberate and calculated approach is used by them, with the intention of revealing the wrongdoings of individuals who are corrupt to the general public or to those who are directly affected by them. The Sigmas take their time and carefully collect evidence, ensuring that their argument cannot be refuted. Understanding that timing and presentation are essential to the success of their revelation, they employ their strategic wits to craft a plan that maximizes impact and harm. This deliberate unmasking is carried out with precision, ensuring that the actions of the corrupt individual are brought to light in a manner that does not leave any room for question or escape that could be possible. Sigmas understand that bringing corruption to light is often the most effective method of combating it and they take this responsibility seriously. Sigma males are very good at conducting study and are able to unearth knowledge and realities that are buried deep within someone's mind. Outsmarting is the second point. When it comes to accomplishing their evil objectives, corrupt individuals frequently participate in complex mind games and engaging in deceptive strategies. To bend circumstances to their will, they employ cunning and manipulation as tools weaving intricate webs of deceit in order to achieve their goals. In spite of the fact that they share a similar aptitude for strategic thinking and psychological insight, Sigma males find themselves on the opposite extreme of this moral continuum. In contrast to individuals who employ their mental sharpness for the purpose of doing damage, Sigma males put their abilities to use for more admirable objectives or goals. They use their understanding of mind games not to fool others, but rather to destroy the manipulations of individuals who have malicious intents. This makes them the antidote to such corruption. By employing their own strategies against corrupt individuals, Sigma males are able to deftly turn the tables on those individuals. When it comes to unraveling and neutralizing the schemes of individuals who seek to exploit and deceive others, they employ a combination of foresight, tactical thinking, and psychological acumen. Influence come in at number three. Within the context of the strategic fight against corruption, the ability to effectively use influence can be a game changer. When challenging corrupt individuals, one potent strategy that Sigma males may employ is to utilize a network of allies or to sway public opinion in order to undermine the control and influence that they had previously established. Another illustration of this would be a scenario in which a corrupt leader in the workplace takes use of their position by manipulating and exploiting it. By assembling a group of co-workers who have either witnessed or been affected by this activity, and then collectively presenting the evidence to upper management or making use of internal channels meant for reporting unethical practices, it is possible to reduce the power base of the corrupt individual. This approach not only leads to the isolation of the corrupt individual, but it also garners support against the actions that they have taken, so turning their own strategies of influence and control against them. 
This kind of unified front has the potential to dramatically undermine the reputation of the corrupt individual, so paving the path for their inappropriate behavior to be addressed and corrected. Independence comes in at number four. Especially for Sigma males, the notion of ultimate self-reliance is a strategic approach that has proven to be effective in the fight against corruption. The deceptive strategies that corrupt individuals frequently employ are shielded from Sigma males by their embrace of total freedom. Such people usually employ the utilization of their resources or services as a strategy of exerting control over situational circumstances. As leverage points, they seek out locations in the life of others where they can exert influence and use these areas as a means to manipulate and coerce people. It is possible for Sigma males to effectively close these control routes by ensuring that they are self-sufficient in all facets of their existence. Because of their independence, there is nothing for the corrupt to cling to or exploit. There is no room for manipulation in the sphere of Sigma males because of this autonomy, which serves as a significant deterrent. Their self-reliance serves as a stronghold, making them impervious to the conventional strategies of control and influence used by corrupt individuals. It is not just a choice of lifestyle. It is a strategic defense, ensuring that they remain freed from the grasp of those who seek to utilize authority for their own personal advantage. Thinking creatively is the fifth point. The remarkable creative thinking and ability to understand abstract thoughts that most people are unable to grasp is a trait that is frequently associated with Sigma males. These individuals have minds that work on a separate wavelength, allowing them to see beyond the conventional and ordinary. They are able to dissect and evaluate circumstances with a level of depth and clarity that is exclusively associated with their personality type because they have the ability to observe things from numerous sides. They are able to spot and steer clear of corrupt individuals thanks to their exceptional analytical abilities, which extend to their dealings with other people. As a result of their heightened sense of observation and understanding of human nature, Sigma males are frequently able to anticipate deceit and manipulation in situations when others might regard it as normal. They are not only creative in terms of their thoughts and ideas, they are also creative in terms of the strategies they employ to protect themselves from the malicious intents of other people. They come up with creative and efficient strategies to circumvent people who employ deceit as a technique so ensuring that they do not become entangled in webs of corruption. The sixth reason is a moral compass. In addition to adhering to a set of strong moral values that direct their actions and judgments, Sigma males are pillars of integrity. These are not merely ad hoc ideas, rather they are unequivocal principles that they adhere to in their daily lives, which serve as a guide for their actions and decisions. This unwavering dedication to their ideals frequently distinguishes them from others, making them a moral compass for others who are inside their sphere of influence. In spite of the challenges they confront, they are able to set an example for others to follow by displaying the significance and power of standing up for what is right. Their very presence and actions motivate individuals who are in their immediate vicinity to not only acknowledge, but also combat instances of injustice and corruption. Sigma males serve as guiding lights of principled behavior in a society where moral ambiguity can be more frequent than it should be. They inspire others to question the status quo and strive for ethical standards. This influence goes beyond just words since they are living examples of the change and integrity that they campaign for. They are reiterating the concept that an individual's dedication to morality can, in fact, make a difference in the fight against systemic corruption. Ignoring the actions of those who are corrupt is the seventh point. When it comes to destroying the efforts of corrupt individuals, Sigma males frequently employ a strategy that is both subtle and effective. Apathy. Sigma males make the decision to completely dismiss these people's attempts to take control or undermine them when they are confronted with such attempts. This way of ignoring something is not merely a passive response. Rather, it is a deliberate maneuver that conveys a great deal of information. Sigma males effectively disarm the corrupt individual by treating their efforts as unimportant, which renders the manipulative strategies for which they are responsible for useless. 
because it directly undermines the corrupt person's sense of control and influence. This approach is especially harmful to the ego of those who are considered to be corrupt. It makes it quite evident that the Sigma male is not only impervious to their schemes, but also a force that refuses to be lured into petty power play. This is a message that is conveyed in a very plain manner. This non-engagement method acts as a warning to the corrupt that their typical tricks have no effect on someone who is self-assured and ethically grounded, in addition to protecting the Sigma male from becoming involved in corruption. Are you in agreement with the points that I brought up in this video?